www.bailywooblogs.com. This is so exciting. I'm in Georgia and I'm with Nika Kosharov, who has incidentally left out the young Georgian Lolita. Wow. They'll work, apart from busy. Oh, really? How are they? They're pretty good. A bit tired. I've been working a lot. We just. Uh, we were filming music video yesterday all day. Before that, recording it. Before that, whatever. And how did you guys meet? Well, Tbilisi is a really small town, city. And, I mean, we all know each other. I mean, musicians all know each other. So, me and Levan, our guitar player, we met like 15 years ago. We started playing 15 years ago together. And George and Dima, uh, we'll be hanging around for ages, so we just asked our friends to play, so that's it. Did you have trouble selecting the name John George and Lolita? I mean, like, how did that even come about? All right, yeah, that was 2001. Oh, that, yeah, that's a bit I was of a young, history there. Yeah, 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 I was young. Well, if I'd known that the band would exist 15 years, I would never call it that. <laughs> But we couldn't change it because people know us by am George and Lolitas and they don't even think what it means or whatever, you know. So we are just young George and Lolitas to Georgian audiences. So uh, at that time we were like changing names every other gig. <laughs> yeah. So we were what, what were the names you went through? I don't even remember. It was I don't remember how it was like Dirty T, for example. It was like silly names. So, once we were playing this festival in Tbilisi, and before the gig we were thinking, what should we call our, name, our band? So we went, Young Georgian Lolitas, I don't know why. And that particular gig was really successful. So, from then on, we had to keep that name. But interestingly, you've done a Diana Ross because it's not just the Supremes, it's now Nika Koshiro and the Young I don't know. I don't know why, to be honest. I'm um, Young George. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. They did it for, for Eurovision, I don't know why. Why? It's a bit of a mouthful. Midnight Gold, now that's very interesting. It's, 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 it's a different flavour to what Georgia has sent before. Yes, indeed. Follow the contest. Well, a couple of times, yeah. So you you, you are aware that your your sound is is I rather know. unique. I know, I know. So how did you end up being internally selected? I just received a phone call. That was it. Oh wow. Yeah. And how did you? Was Midnight Gold part of your back catalogue, or well, was it specially created for uh, your original? It was redone specially for Eurovision. But apart from that, it was kind, it was an old tune, but it was like a couple, of months, couple of months. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That's not old. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so it was redone for Eurovision, and it's had a revamp even since we heard it, right? Yeah, yes, yes. We just recorded in Berlin. So oh, wow. it's going to be not different, but different sounding. And have you started, have you heard some of the other entries you'll be competing with? Because Ireland is out, Malta is out. Um, yeah, I've heard a few. Yeah, but they're completely different from what we're doing. And what's been the reception of Midnight Gold so far? Well, Georgians hate it. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, we will be blocked, hate it. Maybe. I'm not sure yeah. you're yeah. right on that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But you know what's interesting about Wooey Blocks? We're a collective of about, you know, 30 something odd correspondents around the world. So maybe two or three that you're aware of don't like it so much. But, but I understand it. I, I totally understand it. Because, I mean, I know for sure that this music is not for everyone. Not because we're playing such intellectual music. I mean, it's just kids' music. But 
Uh, for Eurovision, it's completely different. I'm aware of that, so... But we have really positive feedback as well. I mean, it's like 50-50. You can't say which one's... Is it more negative or positive? It's like, it's like the same. And Georgia can't hate it that much if you got a phone call <laughs> to, to totally pick you. No, I'm just saying. You've had a very colourful past. I mean, you've kind of lived in different parts of the world, including the United Kingdom yes. as well. Yeah. What was that like? Well, that was all right. <laughs> and what took you there? And what made you leave? What made me leave? Wow. Oh, I was bored in Tbilisi. My girlfriend was living at the time, my girlfriend. So I said, why not? I left Boyfriend. So how long were you in London for? Five years. Five years? Yeah, I was playing now, uh, gigging all the time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Under the young George Blue leaders, or you had a different For the first couple of years, but then I had, again, different names, different bands. Also, the lineup of the young Georgian Lolitas have also changed. Yeah, the Levan, the, 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 the guitar player, the mm -hmm. only guy who followed me to London, but it wasn't for a long time. We were there for one year tops together, and then he left back. Wow. So, Midnight Gold, is there an album as well in the can? Not yet, but I think Eurovision fans will be disappointed with the Iron album. Because it's completely different. It's more, how to say, it's not mainstream at all. Your official fans are eclectic. You'd be surprised. What sort, I of, hope so. what sort of genre of music is it? Well, the thing is, uh, my whole life, I'm um, trying to avoid genres. Ah, that's the point. So, did you struggle with fitting your song into a three minute box? For Eurovision? Not really, not really. I, 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 I struggled with the construction of the song. They wanted chorus, verse, chorus. Ah, right. Uh, but and you I, don't write like that normally? Well, sometimes I have songs like that, but I enjoy like weird structures. And in the last two days, you've been massively busy shooting your music video. Yeah. What are we to expect? thing is, a uh, few directors, uh, I'm one of them, and we're filming like different, all of them are doing their own things, and then we're going to edit. Like a montage? Yes. So what's the concept, what's the general concept? It's not a concept, it's like a psychedelic thing. <laughs> you're, I'm not sure if you're keeping it a secret, or you don't know yourself. Well, I've seen what we shot yesterday. Okay, tell us about it. Well, there's not really much to tell. It's like more visual thing. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, there's a cube of Georgian carpets, and it, like we're standing uh, beside the wall. So there's some storyline, but like really vague. I know what I'm shooting. There's no storyline in my sequence. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing this. Weird room. Well, and what is Midnight Gold about? Midnight Gold. Because sometimes yeah, people right. don't like something because they don't fully understand it. So this is your opportunity to tell us what, what, what is it actually. Yeah, about? I, I know I'm going to have like problems with that, with the, this question because people expect like from Norwegian songs, as far as I know, mm -hmm. I might be wrong, that like the the message is like let's save the world. Yeah. You're so 1960s, honey! Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but go Basically, on. it's morning after. The morning after. The hangover, the guy, the person who's singing, is remembering the night before. The night when alcohol was free, which was provided <laughs> by the Greens. You've been so much fun. We love you, and we wish you the very best. Thank you. Do you have a message for our readers? Oh, message? Yeah. Peace, love. <laughs> He's so cute. Eurovision News with Attitude, Devin Adarami, movieblogs.com. <laughs>